This video will demonstrate how to design the anchorage for a base plate connection that is loaded with shear, moment, and axial load using VA Connect. Let's get started. As shown in the detail, the base plate will connect a W12 by 120 column to a 24 inch thick concrete slab that has a strength of 4 KSI. The column will be 28 inches from the edge of the concrete slab in the direction of the shear load. Since this connection will be used at two different locations in the project, we will design it using two load sets, one for column A and one for column B. Note for the seismic loads, we are assuming seismic design category A. The base plate was designed in a previous video, which resulted in an 18 inch wide by 22 inch long A36 plate that has a thickness of 2.5 inches. The plate was sized so that it would not fail in bending and so that the concrete would not fail in bearing. This video will focus on the design of the anchorage to the concrete. Anchorage in VA Connect is designed according to the ACI 318 specification, specifically Chapter 17. We will pick up in VA Connect where we left off in the base plate video. Therefore, we already have the column positioned correctly on the slab and the dimensions of the base plate are set. Furthermore, the loads have already been applied to the connection. Looking at the project status, we see that there are numerous limit states failing for the anchorage, including bolt tension, group tension breakout, tension pullout, bolt shear, and the anchorage shear and tension interaction. Therefore, the anchors need to be modified to withstand the applied loads. Clicking on the bolt tension limit state, we see that only three bolts, A0, A1, and A2, are resisting the tension load, which is controlled by column A. We can turn on the filter to label the anchors and we see that the top three anchors are the ones in tension. Clicking on bolt shear, we see that only the top three bolts are the ones resisting the shear force. The ACI 318 concrete code explains that when the anchors near the free edge start to form a failure cone due to concrete breakout, the load will redistribute to the stiffer rear anchors. Therefore, VA Connect only uses the anchors on the perimeter of the breakout group for the bolt shear limit state. Zooming out, we can look at the shear breakout for the anchors in the negative y direction. For the anchor A0, A1, and A2 breakout groups, only three anchors are on the perimeter to resist the entire shear load. For the anchor A3 and A4 breakout groups, only two anchors resist 5 eighths of the load, and for the A5, A6, and A7 breakout groups, three anchors resist 3 eighths of the shear load. VA Connect checks the bolt shear and group shear breakout for each breakout case, and more information can be found in the help file. In addition to visually showing the shear breakout for all groups, VA Connect shows the tension breakout for the anchors that are in tension. In our case, we have a positive MX moment, so we see the breakout group for A0, A1, and A2. Now let's zoom back in on the base plate and adjust our filter and start modifying the anchors. Since anchors A3 and A4 are not helping us in tension or shear, let's only use two rows of anchors. Now let's assume we are using grade 55 heavy hex bolts that are not welded to the base plate. We will increase the number of bolts to 4 and bump up the bolt diameter to 1 and 1 8 inches to get the bolt tension, bolt shear, and tension pullout limit states to pass. Notice that we are seal filling for group tension breakout. To increase the breakout area, we can simply increase the embedment length of the bolts and now we see that all the limit states pass. Since we are designing for seismic loads, realistically we would need to design the connection with the seismic load in the opposite direction. We could add more load sets, but for now we will just reverse the seismic load direction in the sets that we already have. Now we see that we are failing in group tension breakout once again. This is because we are near the edge of the concrete and have less tension breakout area. Since we can't go much deeper with the anchors, we would have to design tension reinforcement to prevent breakout. Changing this setting drops the unity value to zero for the breakout limit state. If we were in a more severe seismic design category, we would need to set the short period design spectral response acceleration to the seismic design category and enter the appropriate redundancy and overstrength factors to allow VA Connect to apply the correct load on the connection and to produce the correct capacity. In just a few minutes, we have used VA Connect to design the anchorage for the base plate for column A and column B in our project. 
To try VA Connect for yourself, head over to our website and download the free trial.